What is up here? This is Minute Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. Blind. <laughs> Still messing up. <laughs> welcome back to Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, what did happen? Well, we made our way to the Ambidex game, and a lot had happened. I believe Alice had met a rather unfortunate fate. Quark is still unseen, right? We don't know what Quark has been up to. And Phi, I believe, jumped into the Ambidex game using her massive hops to lock Dio out. And I'm really curious to see how Kay is going to vote in this timeline. We obviously know that, and we've been, you know, uh, I guess tricked by Kay in an alternate timeline, but that doesn't guarantee anything about how they're going to vote this time around. So I'm really not sure. We, of course, chose Ally with Luna, there's always that sliver in the back of my head that thinks we're going to get betrayed by her, but there's only one way to find out, right? Results from round two will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Here we go, guys. Let's see how it turns out. So we start off with Temyoji and Quark and Clover. Betray Clover chose Ally. Nice. So Luna... Proving to always choose ally, really. What are the main results here that I'm curious about? Well, I'm shocked Phi and K chose ally. Both of them have been very tempted, very trigger-happy with choosing Betray in the past. So I'm shocked they actually both chose ally there. And then with regards to Temyoji and Quark, Temyoji is presumably the only person in there. And now Temyoji is betraying Clover's trust, which is very different from the other timelines where we saw Temyoji work incredibly hard to um, build that trust. However, we don't necessarily know that that trust has been built in, or rather, I should know, um, but I don't remember. I don't think that trust has been built in this timeline. So I don't blame him, especially given he only has one BP. He really can't afford to do that. However, what is noteworthy is Quark has nine points now, right? Quark has nine points. Clover really was in a tough position. If she chose Ally, she potentially could get Betrayed to let Quark out. And if she chose Betray, she could be, you know, left with the guilt of killing Temyoji. So, really tough spot. But now the question is, where is Quark and how do you prevent Quark from leaving everybody else behind, right? Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Ooh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the pairings are remade. Thank you, Sigma. No need to thank me. I just did what I promised I'd do. Anyway, thank you too. It was nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have 7 BP. This is the home stretch. Yes, it is. I hope we'll get to pair up in the next round, too. Because I'll choose ally? Yeah, you're an, oppo you're an opponent I can trust. If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, you get nine points either way. Whoa, hold on there. Why would I suddenly choose Betray? I've already chosen an ally twice. You're right. So let's choose ally and get the heck out of here together. Sound good? Huh. Luna's surprisingly not as gung-ho about this idea as I expected. Okay. Come on, why do you look so sad? Well, it's just... There's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy about that. Oh, you mean Alice? Oh... Yes. We still haven't found Quark either, huh? That too. Still, Quark's BP is 9 now. Technically, he's 1. Assuming he's alive. Why did you do that? 
What did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did. Look where it got me. How could you do that? You're such a jerk. How could I betray you after that? And then you... you... I'm sorry. Are you... zero? I don't know why the jump to that conclusion, but... What? No, of course I'm not zero. Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? Interesting, so this is clearly a conversation they had earlier, right? He must know a lot about both Alice and Clover's background. We've seen another timeline that he talked to Alice about some information related to her and her purpose there, and he claimed to have gotten that information from Clover. However, now we're seeing he's talked quite a bit with Clover and isn't really claiming to have gotten that information from Alice, right? So it makes me think that Temyoji actually had a lot of this information prior to the start of the Nonary game, period. Or Temyoji is actually experiencing the morphogenetic field as well and um, is getting information from other timelines. I told you, I... Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean, there's no way. Clover. This isn't about me. I, I made a mistake. I got someone involved in all this when I shouldn't have. Hmm. I... You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's BP up to 9? Yes. But you've only got 4 points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. What is the relationship? Why does he care so much about Quark? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Is it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, wait! Temyoji didn't respond, just turned and walked off toward the magenta door. Clover started to follow, then pulled up short. Oh. She spun on her heel and headed off toward the cyan door instead. That's odd. Why is she so intent on going through the cyan door rather than follow after Temyoji? What's her... What's her motive here? What just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Yeah, I know. But then she chooses Ally. Temyoji must have said something to her before the last round started, but what? Well, I mean, we've got an idea of what he said, but but we don't know the details, obviously. Come to think of it, didn't you choose Ally, too? Yes, yes I did. Which was another surprise. Fai put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise. If she had chosen Betray, Dio would have 9 BP now. I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray, and so I voted accordingly. That was her guarantee? Yes. Then why didn't you choose Betray? You could be walking out of here with 9 points right now. It's because you promised, right? He's like, please, Luna, I'm not like you. I'm not that silly. Yes, that too, I suppose. There was another reason? Yes. What was it? 
It's difficult to explain. I suppose you could say I felt a connection? What do you mean by that? Well... When we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Something to me said, Don't betray her. You could call it intuition, I suppose. Cut it out. Gut feelings are crap. Phi. Besides, you don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission, and I don't remember doing that. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kind of skeeves me out, to be honest. Interesting that Fai's rejecting this so strongly. Not incredibly surprising, right? She's incredibly rational. But at the same time, we've also seen K be relatively selfish and logical in other timelines, too. And I don't see him or her as the character to get swayed so heavily, right? Uh, by gut feelings. So maybe there's some ulterior motive there. What the heck, man? He did you a favor and now you're gonna give him crap for it? Hmm. <laughs> You chose Ally, too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. It's more of a didn't want the other outcome. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face like an idiot. That got him to lower his guard. What? Why are you revealing this, right? Now, who's gonna want to trust you going forward? Did you really think that would be enough to convince him? I mean, if you were wrong, then he could have escaped and left you behind. What are you getting at? Well, I'm just thinking that maybe you felt some kind of connection to him too. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy whose face I haven't even seen? Have you ever made internet friends, Fi? You tell me. <laughs> Shut up. Um... If we could, uh, change the subject, where did Dio go? That's a lovely question. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. He must have been here for the results. Oh, I saw him leave. He checked the results and then left through the yellow door. So where did he go? Yeah, that's a that's a really good question. Which could have a very important answer. Suddenly the warehouse was filled with the groan and clang of metal doors grinding shut. Okay. The Ambidex gates have closed. So I think we've seen this before, right? No? Oh, no, it's just telling us that it's gonna be the star keys again. As many times as we want, huh? Then that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AV game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. What? Remember what Zero Jr. said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The parent solo assignments hop around a bit too. Yeah, let's see what the new assignments are. 
Oh, yeah. What are your bracelets, guys? It looks like I'm... a magenta pear. Me too. Interesting. So we're paired up with five. Looks like we're pairing up again. Better than getting stuck with Dio, I guess. That's a really low bar, though, Fi. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm a yellow pair. What about you, Luna? I'm a solo, but I'm green. Wait. Green? Yes. Hold on a minute. Weren't the colors for the first game red, green, and blue? And we use those colors to open the magenta, yellow, and cyan doors, right? Yes, that's right. Then the next round we had magenta, yellow, and cyan bracelets, and open the red, green, and blue doors, right? Yes. But this time we've got magenta and yellow pairs, but also a green solo. What color doors are we supposed to open? And where are they? Well, we need to check the other bracelets before we make any decisions. That means Dio, Temyoji, and Clover. And Quark. We'll need to check Alice's bracelet too. Anyone could just pick it up now. Yeah, I was gonna say, should have picked it up earlier. I will try and find the remaining people and their bracelets. Quark will be my first priority. I'll come with you. Very well. I'll go check on Alice's bracelet then. And don't forget to, um, retrieve it. We'll likely need it to get through the chromatic doors. Right. Sigma, can you come with me? What? Uh, okay. Let's go. I'm going to have to see her again. I feel sick just thinking about it. Oh, he wasn't referring to Phi. I thought he was referring to Phi, not Alice. That's, uh, that's quite the mistake there. Should we decide on a time to meet up, just in case? Let's see, when do the doors open? We've still got quite a while. An hour and 21 minutes. Then let's take half of that. What do you say we all meet back in 40 minutes? Sounds good. Kay and Luna step through the magenta door and out of the warehouse. Hey, you don't, uh, you don't think Kay's the killer, do you? Maybe. Maybe. But if he is, then Luna's in danger. Maybe. <laughs> Darn it, Fi! You're not one to talk. I didn't see you stopping her. Well, yeah, but... I just had this gut feeling that I could trust him. A gut feeling, huh? Sure, you're not the one who's feeling a connection to our armored friend? I mean, all that plating is pretty flattering to his figure. That's not it. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. Have you considered that it might be Luna? No, that's not possible. Why not? Because Luna didn't need a knife to kill Alice. When we played the last round, Alice's BP was 1. Luna was playing against the two of us. All she would have had to do was convince us to vote ally, and she could have killed Alice easily. She would have just had to pick Betray. Exactly. But if she'd done that, do you really think the rest of us would have let her get away with it? We'd probably have tied her up, or locked her away, or something. Besides, 
There's no way in heck Alice would have chosen Ally. The only way to get an ally vote from your pair would have been to physically overpower Alice. Or trick her like I did with Dio. So what, you're saying Luna's the killer? <sighs> this happens all the time in this game. Everybody just misinterprets Fi's statement that something is possible for you're asserting that this is the truth, right? Fi's like, no, I'm not. I'm just saying the possibility exists. Even if she was, I don't think we need to worry about Kay's safety. He's got a full suit of armor. I'm betting he's pretty hard to kill with all that on. Fair point. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Let's go check Alice's bracelet. I wonder if it's even there. I doubt it. For all we know, Dio could have taken it when he took off after the results were displayed. He did hunt somebody down for their bracelet prior, right? Clover! Hey, hey, come on, don't run away! Run away? Well, it sure looked like they were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, though. I just don't want to talk to you. Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Look, running away isn't going to do you any good. Don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not going to be able to figure that out unless you talk to people. I don't need to. Why not? I already figured out who did it. Who was it? I can't tell you. Of course. Why not? You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Oh, come on. Of course we're not. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her. She's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out, too. Alice figured it out, too. Clover noticed something, and Alice figured it out, too. And the fact... And that thing is definitely related to whoever the killer is. So maybe Alice was killed because she had figured it out. And Clover's worried she's next. How odd. Is it the thing that Alice was noticing next to the AB rooms that we never got to see? There's always that possibility. But then there's the question of, is Alice killed in a different way this time around? Because I've always been under the impression she's infected with the virus and then she ends up stabbing herself. Because in that other, you know, major timeline, that was a central plot point, essentially. But it could very well be different this time around. And who gets murdered by the killer in this timeline? The victim could just change from timeline to timeline, but that information, who the murderer is, could remain consistent. Very interesting. Before she... What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, I gotta go. Hey, wait, Clover! Well, there she goes. Ah, crap. What's wrong? I forgot to ask Clover what color her bracelet is now. Oh, really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. You saw it? 
Yeah, it's not a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. She reached down and casually picked Alice's bracelet up off the floor. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. The blue solo. Huh, I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. You mean what Alice noticed? Were we even listening? Fine, what did Alice notice? Fine didn't answer. Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. Yeah, the question is, did when did she notice? If it was that moment, right? Hmm, could she have found something? Could she have picked something up that would still be on her personnel? Is there some clue? Are we going to lift up her body and secretly see on the wall in blood 11037? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm investigating. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. <laughs> Found something already. Have a look. Fi held something out. It was a handkerchief. Her handkerchief stained reddish brown. Presumably from blood. Is that blood? Looks like it. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. Oh, that's a good point. You could compare. But if she's had it since before she died... Very interesting. When did she find it? Right? She could have found it just before she was killed, right? That could have been what she bent over to find next to the AB rooms. But... Whose handkerchief is it? If it's not hers, whose blood is it? The old lady? Maybe. Do you think Alice killed her? Who knows? Hmm. Ah, there could be more than one killer, right? With different purposes for being there, right? Even enemies that are trying to kill each other and trying to figure out who is who. And is it Alice figuring out who one of the other killers is that then got her herself killed by one of the other killers? I don't know. She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Hmm. And you think she figured something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure. But it's definitely a possibility. How cryptic. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Temyoji and Dio's bracelets have changed to. And we need to find Quark. Yeah. Let's take the blue door then. We should be able to get to the room Temyoji, Quark, and Clover went to that way. Sounds good. Not going to continue investigating? I mean, hopefully you'd be able to find more clues, right? But a handkerchief. Is there any character design that comes to mind about finding a handkerchief? Right? There are two things that come to mind when I think of a handkerchief. It could be something that the victim, somebody who was killed, was holding and thus became bloody when they were killed. Or it could be something that was on the killer, right? Was on the murderer that was used to clean up blood from the crime scene. So, I don't know though. Why can't I think of any white handkerchiefs? I don't think any character had any, you know, blatant handkerchiefs on their, on their design or anything like that, so I don't know. It says, Rec Room. This is the only door that's unlocked. Yeah. So this is where Temyoji's team went. I'm going to open it, alright? How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. Okay, okay. The real question is, what are we going to find in here? 
We know this is potentially where Tenmyoji and Clover had a really important conversation. Tenmyoji. I'm guessing from your face that Quark is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy? What? I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. No, of course not. Why would I be? Then does it hurt? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? Yikes. Hmm, <laughs> didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. So it's better for you if I haven't found him. Am I wrong? Temyoji, what's going on here? I mean, his line of deduction, right, is not incorrect. That is, to a certain extent, how I feel about the situation, but at the same time, it's breeding this distrust and resentment between Temyoji and the rest of the crew that I don't think is going to be very good going forward. This doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about Quark, but... And just what the heck do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... Temyoji. It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I never should have brought him here. What are you saying, Temyoji? Did you say brought? Yes. Zero made me an offer. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is some new information. I thought you said you and Quark were abducted like the rest of us. You mean you came here voluntarily? Hey, answer me! What the heck is going on here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Huh? Why? Please, just do it. Fly and I looked at one another. Neither of us knew what was going on, but there was no reason to refuse. We shrugged and did as we'd been told. Is he going to be looking for the stains, you know, the UV light and all that stuff from the rec room that we did with Dio in the other timeline? But I'm so curious now. Who is Tenyoji? How does Tenyoji just casually chat with Zero, right? Zero normally just abducts people. How does Tenyoji get even in a position where he has the ability to negotiate with Zero? And he willingly brought Quark here. Why? Then suddenly... Yeah. Ah! In the blink of an eye, Temyoji had pulled some kind of can from his pocket and sprayed both our wrists with it. Hey! What the heck, man? Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. He walked toward the door and flipped the light switch. Um... Good work. It's dark now. Show me your bracelets again. Hmm. 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 That stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Yeah, how'd you figure that out? I guessed when you turned off the light. Isn't that the stuff they use on cop shows to find blood and, uh, other stuff? Yeah. Why did you spray us? So Tenyoji must have inspected the lady's body and noticed that the bracelet was missing. Interesting. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. So, part of what's interesting is in this timeline, everybody's kind of working in their own little world, right? Temyoji's trying to figure out what's going on and not really relaying any of that information to the rest of the group. 
Clover supposedly figured out quite a bit already, but doesn't trust anybody else, so is kind of working in her own little world. Alice is dead, Dio is sus, like usual, and off in his own world, Quark has been missing forever, and that really just leaves K, Phi, and Dio, and Luna, to try to figure things out. With any sort of, uh, or with any semblance of cooperation, right? Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? So here's something interesting, right? When we accused Dio, when we caught Dio, Dio said that he killed the lady, confessed to that, but denied being Zero Senior, and only admitted to taking orders, which is why we thought he was comparable to a golem from that previous episode. But based on what Temyoji knows about the situation, Temyoji thinks, or is at least fairly confident, that the person who will have the stain on the bottom of their bracelet is Zero Senior. So the question is, what does Temyoji know that we don't, and how confident is he that whoever the person with the active, or with the you know lit up bracelet is, is actually Zero Senior? So, yeah. Yep. Uh, someone mind explaining this to me? Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Hey, Temyoji. Sorry, but I've got to go. I need to go look for Quark. No. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. You dropped a real bomb back there, and I'm not about to just ignore it. What did you mean when you said that Zero made you an offer? Why are you here? I can't tell you. Why not? I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, right? Makes me think he's part of some organization that's opposing the efforts of Alice and Clover. Yeah. Then why... You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Jr. seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, hold now. And then God only knows what Zero Sr. will do. Interesting. So, Temyoji and Zero had some ability to negotiate before coming here. And Temyoji had a motive for not only coming here himself, but bringing Quark. And whatever that motive is, it's probably going to be at the expense of Zero Senior. And so Temyoji can't tell them because if he tells them, Zero Senior will find out, and that'll compromise whatever his goal is. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Please, I'm asking you. Put yourself in my shoes. I looked him in the eyes for the first time since we'd entered the room and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. Before I could speak, he turned and left the room. For some reason, I get the impression he is the guy who was doing the genetic engineering research and arguably produced K, right? I don't know why I get that impression, but I really don't know. Hey, can I ask you a question? Won't do you any good. <laughs> Whatever you want to know, I don't know anything about it. No, it's not about what just happened. Yeah? Then what is? Oh, I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Oh. Good job. That, uh, wasn't what I wanted to ask either. But it's a really good guess. Well, what is it then? When he sprayed us, you, uh, you screamed, didn't you? No. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Sh shut up! You got stuff to do! Get going! Move! <laughs> now Sig was imita er, imitating the, uh, the scream. That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny.
little bit of uh, banter to lighten the atmosphere. All right, so now the question is, where are we going from here, right? We're still looking for Quark, presumably. Are we going to run into Dio? We've already run into Clover and Temyoji. Are we going to run back into K and Luna? This it looks like another warehouse. I guess there's one on this floor, too, then. Makes sense. I guess as much when I saw the map. Oh, that's right. So in this timeline, they haven't been to this floor before, have they? Or to the warehouse, that is. What's that over there? Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A, too, remember? Yeah, there was, but... Never mind that. There's someone else here. Is that Dio? Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to in the next episode. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was really fun talking with Clover and Temyoji. We're getting snippets of some of the information that each of them has been hiding up until this point. I'm really curious about that bloody handkerchief too, and what was going on in Alice's mind before she was killed. Because it seems like in this timeline she really was killed, right? Not just by herself. She didn't commit suicide related to the virus, but she genuinely seems to have been murdered because she found something that whoever the murderer is didn't want her to know, which complicates things incredibly. Temyoji and his history prior to even starting the Nonary game is incredibly mysterious, and I want to figure it out so badly. So I'm looking forward to finding out more about the situation, and I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.